his needs, her needs, their needs. Hi, I'm Erica Angelo. Thank you so much for joining me. I want to share with you about something that's kind of funny that we do in relationships. Okay, so you've got you in the equation, naturally. And so you have a way that you want to be loved, how you want that love to be expressed, how you want that love to be showered on you, right? And so you have an idea of like, this is how I want it done. This is, I'm a very like, how you say, um, I really know what I want and it's pretty precise and it's very important that I get what I want exactly how I want it. Okay, I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna pull your tail here. It's the truth. I know what I want. I want it a certain way. Get it done. Simple, right? Well, also in relationships with your significant other, they also have a way as to how they want to be loved. And they have an idea of what that looks like to them and how they want it delivered. So she has her needs and he has his needs. And that's how it goes. For example, let's say it's um, let's say it's your birthday, and uh, I'll, I'll I'll put it back on me. Let's say it's my birthday. Um, my birthday, you know. Let's say if you're writing and you're sending me a card. In that card, like I typically, you know, I love for people to tell me what it is that they love about me, like, and not just like like little things like. You know, you're really funny. You like, I really love that about you. I mean, you just make me laugh so much. <laughs> or, you're so lovely. Like, I just, you're just lovely. Uh, I'm looking back and I'm going, what makes me lovely? What makes me so funny? Like, tell me why. Give me, like, give me adjectives. Let me know. What is it? Is it the way I walk? Is it the way I talk? Is it the way I love you? Is it my personality? How does it affect you? I mean, all of those things I want to know. And, uh, or, so yeah, I want, I want, I want things expressed to me. Or let's say it's Valentine's Day. Um, I, we'll talk about Valentine's Day because that's more relevant right now or when this video is being made. So Valentine's Day, I want a card that says, oh my gosh, baby, I love you so much. When I look at you, my heart just shoots off fireworks. It's in the way that you walk, the way that you hold your cup of coffee, the way, I mean, seriously, like I am over the top, like give it all to me, like yes, it's so yummy, I want it, yes. I don't like, it's another year I've made it with you. <laughs> Just kidding, love you, babe. Like, I hate that. Like, don't humor me. Don't tell me like something funny or something stupid like that. Like, that just really pisses me off. So that's not my way. However, I'm not the only one in the relationship. You're not the only one in the relationship. So you know what you want. So let's say you don't like funny cards on Valentine's Day. Let's say you don't like just very like, very basic, like overall, this is what I love about you, you're hot. Like you're like, really, wow, that was creative. But maybe your partner is the opposite. Maybe your partner on Valentine's Day wants that funny card of, oh my gosh, you just keep getting uglier and uglier every year, but I still love you. To them, that may be hilarious. Or they may be the person that when it's their birthday, like, they don't want to hear, like, you love the way that they brush their teeth in the morning. They just may want to hear, you fart, you've gotten another year older. Hmm. And that's it. That's all that they need. Point is, with these um, examples, is that we all have our ways that we want love expressed to us. And we all have our own ways of expressing that love. The tricky thing is where things kind of get missed is when you try to love your partner with the way that you want to be loved. And your partner tries to love you the way they want to be loved. And it just kind of like, you just kind of go and you just totally miss each other. And you both are left scratching your head going, I don't I don't get why that didn't work. Like, why that that was supposed to play out a different way? Why why didn't that work? Well, it typically, it doesn't work because you're not loving your partner the way that they want to be loved. 
And so they fill a void. They feel like their heart's been missed. Like, you know, you have the Cupid arrow and you totally like shot it somewhere else because it did not land in my heart. And so we have to really, in a relationship, get to know our partner and get to see what is it that makes their heart tick. And the other thing that we have to do is once we realize what that is, to go out of our way to do that, to help fulfill that and not sit there and go, well, I want it this way and this is how I'm going to give it. Well, okay, that's great, but that's not going to get your relationship anywhere. Speaking of which, this is a little side note. I was in the elevator yesterday, and it was Valentine's Day. And there were these three guys in the elevator. And I was very chirpy and had pink and red on. And I was like, happy Valentine's Day, guys. And they were like, mm, happy Valentine's Day. And I go, yeah, I guess it's more for the ladies. I guess you guys aren't as into it. And they're like, no, nah, women are into it. We're not into it. And this guy goes, I just want to know what's the least amount that I have to do so that I don't get in trouble. And I put a pretty smile on my face. And I said, and it's that attitude that's getting you in trouble. And all of his friends kind of laughed at him and said, she's right. Side note. But really, when relationships, it is an effort. You want to put out an effort to love that person and love them really well and love them the way that they want to because you want her needs met and you want his needs met. And you both want to be able to meet each other's needs. And sometimes we have to go outside of our own boxes to help fulfill those needs. But you know what? It's a person that you love, so it's worth it. It's worth the investment. It's worth the time of going on an adventure and discovering what it is that makes their heart beat and come alive. And then doing that, not just discovering it, but implementing that, putting it to practice in your relationship. So if you find that your love is kind of like missing each other's targets, you're probably trying to love them the way that you want to be loved, and they're probably trying to love you the way they want to be loved. So why don't you both stop and just kind of communicate to each other and say, listen, I really love when you do this. This makes me feel so appreciated, and I feel so loved by you, and I just want to give you more when you do this to me. And really just have that conversation and really go on the adventure of loving each other very well but meeting each other's needs and not trying to love out of your own. That's another one from Erica Angelo. Go to my website, ericaangelo.com. I have a free app on there. I have a book to help people who have gone through breakups and what do they do next? It's all there. So go to my website, ericaangelo.com, and there's plenty more there for you to find. Erica Angelo, where you find love, you fall in love, and darn it, you stay in love. Have a great day. Keep smiling.